Good evening, Church family of God. Trust that your Sunday have been well and God have blessed you all. Trust also that you all are keeping good and being safe. Praying and trusting that you all are doing a lot of praying, reading the word, and spending this quality time with families. As mentioned in the, one of the previous WhatsApp, that this is the way we will try to communicate the word of God to the church family. And this evening, I'm looking forward to share the word of God to you from the Bible and trust that we will all receive abundance of blessings. So with that in mind, take your Bibles and I direct your attention to Luke Gospel. Luke Gospel chapter number 10, verses 38 to 42. Luke Gospel chapter number 10, verses 38 to 42. But so much more in particular, verse 41 and 42. Luke chapter 10, Luke Gospel chapter 10, verses 41 and 42. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary had chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. What, what a blessing of a piece of text there to bring out a message. Uh, we have a title, as you all know, Church Family of God, whose I am and whom I serve. And under that, I want to bring a message called A Good Path. A Good Path. Uh, and uh, we will look under that good path, and I will want you to pay attention to three valuable truths, three valuable truths under a good part and they are number one will be a good part is needful we will see that in verse 42 a good part is chosen we will also see that in verse 42 and a good part is not removed we'll also see that in verse 42 so let's just have a short word of prayer as we will continue on a good part father we love you lord and we will never fail to give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Bless the church family as we spend this time in your word and in through this form and way, Father. I ask your blessings in every area now, in Christ's name. Amen. Well, church family of God, this is so, so new to me, but I'm excited about it to record and to send out a message and just to know that you will embrace the word of God through the voice of me. I am the one just behind the scene. I am one the one decrease and God will get the increase. So I pray that we'll spend this quality little time together. A good part. A part is a piece of something. A part is a piece of something. And the question what must be put to our mind is Mary, what is this good part that she has chosen? That good part that Mary have chosen? What is that part that Mary desire? That Jesus himself had to say that in the word of God. Jesus personally said that one thing is needful and Mary had chosen that good part. Let us pay attention now to Mary's desire of that good part. It's found in verse 39. The word of God says, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. Wow! Are you seeing that? Wrap your mind around that thought for a moment. Mary sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. Church, church family, the world now sit the world now sit sad to say the world was too busy now the world sit has god get our attention has god truly get our attention at this point in time now a good part let us understand now, firstly, under a good part, a good part is needful. This needful 
you will see it from the word of God is one thing Mary desire. The word is clearly says it there in verse 42. But one thing is needful. A good part is needful. What is this one thing? What a blessing to know that Mary had a a huge blessing. Uh, Mary had a huge desire. Mary had a great love to have one great desire in her life at this point was to sit at the feet of Jesus and hear his word. Likewise, her sister was in a different direction, in an opposite direction. Verse 41 will tell us, and again we will observe in verse 41, that Jesus Christ is given the word. And the word is, and Jesus said, answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. Watch. Note what Jesus is saying to her, to Martha. She is troubled. A world is troubled today. People are troubled today. But not just troubled, but Jesus also tell Martha that you are troubled about many things. It is not just about my sister sitting at the feet of you, which she should have helped me in serving. It is more than that. People are troubled of many things, many things. Church, church family, let us put an application here and let us ask ourselves a valuable, valid point. Ask yourself, what are the many things we are busy about and are troubled, have troubled us? What are the many things that we are busy about and which have troubled us and ask ourselves this question in relationship to in relationship to that where are we today with it absolutely nowhere the one thing we must always be busy about is that of the father's business and so let's take that one thing that one thing that Mary desired. And the psalmist also way back in the Old Testament had made mention exactly of that as well too. And I direct your attention and take your Bibles and turn to Psalm 27. Psalm 27. Psalm 27. I cannot hear the pages flicking, but I know that you are turning it. Psalm 27 and verse number 4. Watch what the word of God says in Psalm number 27 and verse number 4. The word of God says one thing. Are you noticing that? Mary, Jesus said Mary desired one thing. The psalmist said one thing. And hear what he desired. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire into his temple. i tell you something, church, this evening. This verse have been read, this verse in Psalm 27 and verse 4 have been quoted, this verse have been used, but this verse have been least practiced. The time have come. The time have come. I want to encourage you, saints of God. I want you to encourage you. Time have come for us to hit that reset spiritual button and begin to do a self-examination of our lives. And understand, it's a good part that in this life journey towards the Lord Jesus Christ. In conclusion, the good part, the good part is let us take time to listen to God's word and heed God's word. I will conclude, con continue this sermon on the good part 
next Sunday evening when I will pick up the good part is chosen. Verse 42 as well. Let me say this, church family of God. I have I have come up, not come up, sorry, but I have understand the vaccine for this virus today. The vaccine is one that they will not need to inject you with. The vaccine is that you do not need to leave your homes and go to any long lines in health centers or the hospitals. The vaccine for this virus today is simply stay home. Stay home. As the photo, as the picture I send you all, the, vac the virus does not move people move it we stop moving the virus stops it dies it's that simple listen 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 that's the main key word today of the bible if we will listen to what god is saying to us love you all now trust that this has been a blessing to each and everyone let me close in prayer and god bless you all father we love you and again we are grateful and thankful for your many blessings to each and every one of us i pray right now lord father for our country and for our world lord god father that you are not bigger the virus is not bigger than you but we must come to understand that we are not bigger than you jesus and when we will humble ourselves great things will happen may we be mindful and careful father give grace and strength to the families that are really outside they're doing their best to help in this time the families that who have lost loved ones jesus comfort and strengthen them but god father may this message also be the message of salvation if a person don't know jesus christ as their savior may they put their faith and trust in jesus christ before it's eternally too late it's simple god love them for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life god tells us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of god and the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord all we have to do is to trust believe in the lord jesus christ that he died buried and rose again for our sins and we will have eternal life love you so much church Keep safe, be safe, until you hear my voice again next Sunday. Have a great evening. Love you all.